Hi friends, Wes here. I have a thought I'd like to share with you. God's love. How can we define it? We know what love is, we know what human relationships consist of, but God's love is the source of all of this beauty. And there's an illustration I want to share about that. When you open up a dictionary and you look at the word flower, that might bring a smile to your face. It might, there might be a positive response that you have to that. Because you know what a flower is, you envision it in your mind. Those feelings you have about a flower, you, you'll have a, a sense of that in your heart when you look at the word. Now why is that? It's not because you experienced the word on the page it's because you know what a flower is. You've seen a flower before, and that's your frame of reference, and that's the source of what gives that word on the page that power, that effect. And so when it comes to the love of God, I feel it's essential that we not only understand it in terms that we can explain or articulate, but we must truly absorb it. We must truly have it. We must truly see his face. We can't just talk about his love. We have to know his love. And that's, that's part of why I'm out here today. It's a beautiful day, and there aren't exactly any flowers around, but we're to absorb what he created, the goodness that is in creation and then to connect with him directly. And then to radiate that love throughout our lives. So we have to see his smile. That's my encouragement to you all. Ref <laughs> Create some space in your life to see God's smile and don't let the enemy take that from you. Don't let the enemy convince you that you have less than what you really do to work with in your life. To have goodness. To have joy. So we need to connect with God, and it's by the Spirit. Love is a fruit of the Spirit. But what, give, what gives love its power? What gives love its substance? What is love? Well, it's because of the Spirit. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. And when we get in that place of reception and interaction with the divine, that's when we really begin to understand what love is and how to spread it. So I love you all, and I hope that touched you like it touched me. So when we, when we read about the love of God, we can't just see the words on the page. We have to see his smile and radiate it for all the world to see so that we can have victory and joy in this life to bring heaven on earth. Take care.